Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another beer review. And in this one, we're back off to uh, McKellar in uh, Denmark again. We have got a dry hot IPA, uh, which is available in Marks and Spencer. And we have a can of their Blowout. Super smashing great. Great looking can. That McKellar artwork. It's fantastic, isn't it? This is coming in at 6% ABV. There you go. This was £2.50. Um, I don't mind paying extra 50 pence, to be honest. You know, a lot of supermarkets do theirs at 180 £2 for a beer that size, but doesn't bother me. Um, so let's crack this open like you do. Let's see what it's all about. I've got a feeling this one might be quite good. So let's get the aroma. Yeah, like it's funny, it's kind of like a bready cracker type of lemon drizzle type of aroma for me. It smells really good. It smells tasty. It's actually got my mouth watering after I've kind of like smelt it. So yeah, um, I don't mind paying the extra 50 pence in Marks and Spencer, to be honest with you. Um, some people might, but you know, it's a McKellar beer, isn't it, at the end of the day. And um, love the artwork. Fantastic. So, beer in a glass. You can see that slight haze. It is hazy. It's um, definitely um, thin in head. One and a half, about one finger's worth of head. The aroma in the glass, it, it smells more juicy. Um, it, it, it kind of like reminds me of smell of Starburst in a way. It's, it's got that type of lemon slight sherbet-y smell with strawberry and it does it smells like a you know bar of opal fruits to me starburst to you most probably you a lot younger than me <laughs> so i'm gonna go in so cheers everybody That is really good. Dry hopped modern IPA. Bang on. Um, lovely juicy character. Soon as it soon as it greets your mouth, it's just lovely. It's just a load of, you know, like I say, opal fruits in your mouth. It's just making your mouth salivate is now it's just you know saliva's pouring down your mouth it's it's really really good um lovely balanced pleasant feel of bitterness but for me the body of the beer and the juiciness of the notes work very very well very very well and I'm kind of asking myself, is this the best beer at the moment in Marks and Spencer? Because it, it is working very, very well. It's, it's so well balanced. It's beautiful. Lovely stuff. Doesn't feel heavy. And to be honest, it doesn't really feel like a 6% beer. Not saying that there's any thinness in this beer, because there isn't. It's just, you know, the character, the, the mouthfeel the way it plays itself in your mouth. For me, it doesn't feel like, you know, a 6% beer. It feels like a good maybe 5% beer. So credit to the brewer for that. But it's just got lovely juicy characters. Lovely hoppy notes. It's just making you salivate as you drink it. And for me, it is really, really good. Um, where does it compare with all the other beers on Marks and Spencer shelves? Well, you know, Marks and Spencer have bought out a couple of really good beers this year. For me, um, the Arbor Cafe Creme, fantastic. Um, the North Brewing Company transmission was really, really good. So, for me, 
North North Brewing Company transmission and this beer, uh, you know, for me neck and neck. It is this is a lovely beer. I'm going again. Juicy, pleasant feel. It, it leaves a lovely coating around your mouth, and that coating it just wants you to to dive in for more. It's like a Pringle effect, you know. Once you start, you can't stop. And that's what this beer has. It's once you start drinking it, you just want to keep drinking it and keep drinking it. It's got a lovely, lovely Moorish character around this beer. So for me, gets the big thumbs up. It really is a belter. So, boys and girls, Mikella's Blowout Modern IPA, Dry Hot Modern IPA. That is really, really good. Really good. It's one of the best Mikella beers in Marks & Spencer, if not the best. That is a belter. So, thank you very much for watching this beer review. As ever, your stars, murder me in the comments, and I shall see you all soon on another beer review. And in the meantime... Take care, look after yourselves and all that jazz. Cheers, everybody.